Here's another one of these electrostatic motors that I've uh, set up to run wirelessly with the electrostatic charge in the air coming off a PVC pipe. And I've got a darning needle as the antenna. I made a little electrostatic motor out of these plastic cups that picks up the charge in the air coming off that pipe. And then it's grounded strictly to the towel here on the table. My generator is very, very simple. It's just a leather glove with the PVC pipe taped to the back of a chair. You just move it with your hand back and forth and that creates a charge on the pipe that gets picked up by the darning needle. You get a differential between an electron charge here and a positive charge down here. That differential causes that rotor to move. And uh, it's this uh, charge differential that fascinates me and uh, I've been studying this more and more uh, about how these electrostatic motors uh, can operate. Let me show you how this gets going. I'm just going to move this with my hand back and forth. Now, air humidity is about 60 percent. You can actually hear this crackle. Um, if it's drier than this, but even at 60% this does work. And what's happening is this PVC pipe now has a charge on it. The charge picked up by that darning needle puts the charge on that one cup. That causes a differential to happen between what's going on here and what's going on over there. And the electrons want, want to equalize and that causes the rotor to move. Yeah, let me stop this. I'll show it to you one more time. It's the Coulomb effect. But it's this that fascinates me. The fact that it can transition through thin air and you can actually pick up an electrostatic charge in the air and cause motion. Let me try this one more time here. And there it goes. And anybody that's having trouble with a generator, I found this was very, very simple. Um, leather against PVC, silk, cotton, um, a number of things uh, because of the tribal scale, tribal electric scale, you can set up a charge on one or the other and uh, cause this effect to happen. And uh, I found this was the simplest way to make an electrostatic generator was a piece of PVC and I recommend a long piece rather than a short piece. They have rotary designs for this too where you can rotate something around against uh, something else and create a charge. Let me show it to you one more time. And uh, what I'm fascinated with is this charge in the air that um, you can pick up a charge in the air and cause motion and I, I just find that extremely interesting that uh, static electricity uh, generated like this can be transitioned into motion. It doesn't have to be just a spark. It can actually create a motion. And these atmospheric electrostatic motors that Laser Saber has shown and uh, Oleg Jeffaminko uh, design are, are just fascinating to me. So anyway, that's where I'm at with these um, electrostatic motors and uh, the uh, wireless designs that pick up a charge in the air. Thanks for watching.